Sound, I think, is good, but you guys can tell me the sound is good or not. This is pretty nice. I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they asked me if they could film in my house. That's why, uh, that's why I had to move for a couple days. I thought I could have it for like a week. <laughs> from this fucking trailer thing. I got my start in chess at the age of seven years old. I was really young. I assume in this position I'm white, so I'm down three pawns. Or no, I'm I down played four. played a lot, became the youngest master in America at 10 years old, breaking records there. The line I was talking about was C5, knight, C3, bishop, B7, knight, D5, bishop, D5, C, D5. I've won the United States Chess Championship five times, which is third most. Trying to win the pawn D5, D6, C, D, E, D, rook, D6, and then he had rook F, D1 because of king F6, there was knight, E4. Then I broke Bobby Fischer's record, the former, former world champion, to become a grandmaster. Takes here, here, takes here. Oh, where's here, Lex? Here, right. just... <laughs> I'm also number one ranked in the world of Blitz Chess, so I'm just the best. Huh? A weird flex again? <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh my god, it's right. One thing I really I'm want to do, relaxed, whenever I try to bring home titles, bring home trophies, and I feel that my best opportunities to do that will be at TSM. It should be like this, should be like this, should be like this. Okay, very nice. There we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's go, make a move. Oh my god. Move! Oh my god, he actually might lose on time. Move? Come on, come on, make a move, make a move, make a move! Hikaru Nakura, professional chess player, grandmaster, United States chess champion. I'm here to announce that I'm signing with TSA. That's cool. Yeah. That's, that's cool, dude. Awesome. Yeah, that, 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 that's great. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, you know, what, what, what I will say, um, again, like, um, to be, be very clear, again, a lot, a lot of credit does go to... Um, does go to XQC along with quite a few of the other big streamers. I, I will say he is the person who I think started started the trend um, when he when he started when he started um, playing chess every day. It, I think a lot of other streamers started paying attention and they started getting into the game. And so a lot of the credit for sure in terms of the boom and the the origin sort of like the what's it the. Uh, What's it? It's not the dynamite. It's the like he basically he the, the 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 dynamite was there, but XQC was like the fuse. Like he lit the fuse, and that started the whole um that started the whole like the whole whole boom. Um, I don't know if that <laughs> I don't know if that's the best um if that's the best uh best analogy, but I think you guys get what I'm saying at any rate. So um so yeah, big shout out again to XQC um for for all for all he's done for chess um and even now when he's not playing on stream, he is improving a lot. So it's so a big shout out to um to uh, XQC. I'm calling XQC a boomer? No, not at all, not at all. Um, but but yeah, big shout out of course to, uh, to to XQC. All right, you guys, did I check Levon's tweet? Okay, I guess you know what, if there's no one that I can play right now, let's, let's yeah, let's let's do a little bit of around the horn stuff. Um, I have not been following the online chess Olympiad, you guys, to be very clear, I haven't, I haven't been following um, at all. Uh, but let's see, what do we have here? Okay, so, Okay, so so th it's these two tweets. Let, let's see what let's see what these tweets are. So one slash two. As a leader of a three times Olympiad Olympic champion, I feel very dissatisfied with Fide's decision to reject our appeal. In our match against India, Hike uh, Mar Mar Martirosian lost on time due to a disconnection from Chess.com. Uh, we proved that our connection was stable. Okay, so. Okay, so I don't know what the situation was in the match, but I'm assuming since they were playing India, it was probably an ex extremely close match, and probably that disconnection tilted it against Armenia, uh, or against, yeah, tilted it in favor of India. It's probably some, like, one and a half, one and a half, or whatever it was. And so he got disconnected, and um, and I guess that means that uh, FIDE rejected their appeal, and they decided that the result stands. Um, and uh and india i guess won the match against him that that's that's what i think he's saying so let's go back to the second tweet then um two out of two 
and it was it was a problem access to chess.com not on our side all we asked for was to continue the game from the same position at the same time is it too much to ask you know i mean i think this is a very tricky situation in general um in terms of the connection one thing i will say is that there are periods where periodically i think i've gotten i've gotten disconnected for like half a second or a couple of seconds even during the speed run potentially so it's a very tricky topic um you know, I think I think the real question is is that the decision has to meet, be made on the spot. This is this is kind of the thing that is is very difficult. Um, I'll look at the first reply. Okay, let's see. This is I assume this is a reply. India has also lost three completely winning matches because of technical issues. One of them being explicitly because the Chess.com server did not register Divya's move. It's sad, but I think it's part of online chess. You should have played the second round and tried to equalize. Okay, um, so like I said, I have not been following the online Olympiad at all, um, but I, I, I mean, this is, it's kind of a tricky question. I don't know what the, what the answer is, to be clear. I, I would say, I think at the end of the day, the connection issue is on, um, it is, this is a reply, isn't it, or not? This is a tweet reply, right? This is the right reply, let me make sure. Um, uh, uh, esports ready? Oh, right, because yeah, like they're they're like you complain about lag in esports. This this is true. This is true. Um, this is a good point. Yeah. Uh, so 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 yeah. So so we're 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 ready for esports now. Totally. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, or wait, is this the wrong one, or is it one out of two? I I don't know. At, at any rate, it seems pretty clear that what happens is, is that Mar Marta Rosian got disconnected. It cost them the match. And they felt that, that it was unjustified, that the game should have continued. You know, it's it's no different than the situation that I had in a previous event on Chess 24 against um, against uh, against Ali Reza Farouche. It's a very tricky situation because, like, it's not completely clear whether it's on the the end of the the team or whether it's on the end of the server. Like, it's I, I don't I'm not a technical guy, so I can't confirm either way like i'm not some expert so i don't have the background but i feel that in general it's a very um it's a very tricky it, it's very very tricky to to figure out exactly where, where it's on um so so yeah chess.com can monitor their server status yeah probably also true as well i i think it's it's a it's a tricky spot to be in no matter what um, but I will say if this is true with with um with with india having lost matches that they were winning um then 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 what i would say is that um is that probably you have to pick one way or the other and I, i'm i'm more on the inclination that uh that probably in this situation it's it's correct to um uh it's correct probably correct decision for india again that's just my the, my take from having read these tweets and having seen that reply um but there should be logs in terms of guessing yeah probably um so yeah and they withdrew instead of instead of playing the second round again i don't i i don't i don't i don't know i don't i don't know that's just my that's my take on the fly without just re reading this little bit but um but again i think i think you could make an argument either way and I, there are technical issues on all kinds of servers i think again at the end of the day there are a lot of people playing chess right now so everyone's having to um having to up their bandwidth and um and server space server storage space in general so um tough to tell but I do think withdrawing the way they withdrew is a little bit, little bit odd to me. Just a little bit odd. So, all right, you guys, is this stream lagging? This stream, you guys, is not lagging. I have 0, 0.0 or zero dropped frames, so we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not lagging. Um, so, all right, and then again, back to back to that issue about Shroud. I saw Shroud was playing on Chess.com. He got a winning position. He was up a queen in this game. And next thing I looked, like maybe three minutes later, when I popped back very briefly, he had lost his queen. I think he let his opponent make a queen, and he was losing. So, um, so very unfortunate for for Shroud. I, as as I've said, I've I've had some some light discussions. Um, so there may may maybe some kind of collaboration down the road with Shroud. Um, so so we'll see. We'll see.